Combat. A Selmer production. Stockwell. Checkmate King 2, over. Hey, A Company, did you say? I had a friend in A Company. You been with him long? No. Only been with A Company a couple of weeks. I was in the band. And I asked out. I, right, my best friend. V-Day, he got it. Hey, there's somebody coming. C Company. The Germans must be busting a big hole this time. Ah, yeah, big hole's easy to plug up. All you need is a few thousand bodies. Oh, very funny. All right, man, listen. We'll stay in this dark, and then pull out. Battalion is assembling about a mile back. We'll be picking up a replacement back there. Her name's Lawson. Remember the name in case he comes looking for us. Lawson. We'll rejoin your company back there, Pratt. You'll be hospitalized, soldier. What if you guys are getting robbed, Lawson? Uh, who's that? You heard of the 3rd Army and the 5th Army? This guy's like another army. An army all by himself. <laughs> He's right. I heard of him, too. Uh, we better dig in. What are you guys talking about? I'm talking about a guy who fights like a whole army. Ah, look, did you say you played in a band? Or did you just use your head for a drum? You guys are getting robbed lost, and you'll find out soon enough what I'm talking about. A man who fights like a whole army? Dig, Billy.
Hey, buddy. I'm looking for the second platoon K Company. Out of here, buddy. Lawson? Yeah. I thought so. We were in basic together. Oh, yeah, that was a long time ago. Sorry, I don't remember. I don't mind. As long as we don't have to fight together, I don't mind. Good luck for second platoon. Hey, you Jensen? No, Lawson. I'm looking for second platoon K Hunter. We're first platoon. Hey, Doc. Is your patient bus ticket back home yet? Nah, a couple weeks in the hospital, he'll be all right. Hey, here they come. It looks like graduation day at officer school. <laughs> Not replacement show up yet? Not yet. Brad, what are you doing here? I haven't found anybody for makeup on the yes, sir. But you're not gonna find him standing around here. Get the lid out and go look for him. Yes, sir. See you, buddy. Go on, fellas. Take it easy, man. Where are we headed, Lieutenant? Back where we came from. It figures. As long as it clears, the air corps is gonna cover our advance. They think it's gonna clear soon. Is this second for 2K company? Yeah. I'm Larkin. CP told me to report the second platoon. I'm oh, Lieutenant Hanley. This is Sergeant Saunders, your squad leader. That's Doc, Kirby, Nelson, Little John, and Cage. All right. All right. Hey, this guy doesn't look any different than the rest of us. Why should he? Oh, you heard Pratt. I mean, this guy's supposed to fight like a whole army. In the first place, Pratt said Rob Lawson is supposed to fight like a whole army. You don't know which Lawson this is. And in the second place, even if he is, there's nothing in the army manual that says you have to believe a musician. It's, it's not only Pratt. The wounded guy said he heard of him, too. <laughs> Out and pass. 30 second intervals. Right. Kirby, Cage, you'll lead off. And Little John, Billy, Doc and Lawson, you follow. On your bellies all the way. It's 15.04. Move them out one minute. Right. What do we need a stream for? And maybe the Colonel likes to fish. Maybe the colonel doesn't like the fish. Uh. Checkmate King 2, over. Third platoon tried to take the farm behind the woods. They didn't make it. That's your objective now. Take it and hold it. Over. Are the woods mined? Over. We don't know. Play it safe. Over. Checkmate King 2, out. Orders have been changed. There's a barn behind the woods. Third platoon tried to take it. They struck out. It's ours now. The woods may be mine. Take it easy once you get in there. We'll move low, zigzag on the way in. No sense in making a target for a sniper. Hit the dirt as soon as you get in the woods. Let's move out. Everybody 
we make it? Yeah. All right, get with those mines. Some more third platoon. Yeah, please not booby trap. He's dead. Let's go. like that before, did you, little John? Uh-uh. I take it all back. Boss is different, all right. What was that all about? Well, I could see the sun was shining off his rifle, but I couldn't get a clean shot at him, so I had to run in where I could. Yeah, you ran. You know we were moving slowly because of the possibility of mines. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm gonna make sure you remember for the rest of the way. Let's go, soldier. Yeah. Get back with the other men. Lawson will take your place. With pleasure. Okay, Lawson. Nearest grandstand I know is at Wimbledon, England. That's what grandstand plays are allowed. They got a good position over the whole area. Looks like more of the third platoon. out there. Maybe they've gone. I sure would like to know what kind of weapons they got. And how many of them? If we get a little closer, we can put a fire. Try for those trees. Cover me. A BB shot. I don't like it. Not a bit. Neither do I. Let's go, Saunders. Cover us!
we'll have to start circling around. Kirby! You! Go straight ahead! You come in from the other end! Cage! Instead of range. They got two machine guns. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. What do you make of him, little John? I guess he wants to win the war all by himself. Our best chance is to come in from all sides. Yeah, agreed. All right, this is the way we'll do it. He'll probably go home all stooped over, weighed down with metals. Go home? How can I go like this make it home? Those windows busy if you can. I'm gonna try to make it around the side. Right. from this side. Not alone. I'll get around to you. Cage? Here. Three more of them up there, Lieutenant. Cage, Little John, Nelson, check them out outside. We don't want any surprises. Kirby, cover upstairs. One over here. King six is a checkmate. King two over. King six is checkmate. King two over. I don't know where you got briefed in the fundamentals of squad tactics, but it was deficient. It's not enough to be a brave man. This whole squad is filled with brave men. The whole of France is lousy with brave men on both sides. The only thing we have to count on when we're fighting is each other. We don't have anything else. And if we can't count on each other, we're in trouble. Bad trouble. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Look, Wilson, I don't know what you have working for you. 
Maybe it's something personal, but that's your business. Keeping this squad alive is everyone's business. That whole squad could have got it because of you. Our own men could have killed you. They were covering Cajun Lieutenant when you made a run for it. Now, why did you do it? Well, I saw the machine gun swing way over to the left. And then I thought I had enough time to get in here before it swung back over to the right. I thought, what about the rest of us? You have to think as a team. That's the only way we can fight. All right, so you got that machine gun nest. But that's not the point. It's how you did it. On your own, just like in the woods, on your own. Now, there's no room out here for show-off, Slauson. You understand? Yeah. You just let that sink right into your head. Is that all, Sergeant? Why? <laughs> I'm tired. I want to sit down for a while. Come on. Come on, sit down. You had it coming. Oh, I'm not finding fault with you. You just saved me the trouble. Lawson's well, alone. You can get us all killed. Now, you know better than to talk like that. Besides, we just got commended for taking this barn. What are you going to do, recommend them for a medal? Or the psycho ward? Well, he's got something on his mind, but uh, he's no psycho. I'll tell you what he is. He's a headache. A real headache. Amen. You guys, we gotta do something about this. What happened today was just a sample. I've seen these heroes before. They go out with you and they get everybody else killed. Well, you knock it off, Kirby. But you got any idea what's gonna happen to us with this guy Lawson fighting the way he does? Crazy like. What? This squad will get a reputation. Every tough job in the whole army is gonna be our personal property. We had a good reputation before Lawson came. I know that, but it's different. You get a Superman in the outfit and everything changes. Oh. Where did he come from? Did you ever think about that? I mean, what happened to his old outfit? How would I know? I know. They're all dead. The same thing will happen to us if we don't get rid of him. Oh, you got to be kidding. You think so? I'm going to ask the lieutenant to get this guy Lawson out. Oh, wait a minute. How can you request a man out of the outfit just because he, he fights too good? I ain't complaining about a guy's fighting. Saunders fights good. You don't hear me complain about him, do you? I'm talking about somebody that's nuts. I got a right to complain about that. Wait a minute. Let it go, Billy. Maybe he's right. But I... And if he is, maybe he's saving our lives. Lieutenant? Come in, Kirby. What's on your mind? It's, uh, it's Lawson, sir. Go on. Well, uh, some of the other men up there and me, we've been talking and, uh... You got something in your mind, spit it out. Don't beat around the bush. Yes, sir. We'd like very much for Lawson to get out of the outfit before we all get killed, sir. Go on. That's all. Just thought maybe it could be transferred somewhere else. This is a war, Kirby. A war. Not a pacifist convention. Nobody gets kicked out of a squad for killing the enemy best. Lieutenant, I ain't talking about killing the enemy. I'm talking about that Section 8 way he goes about it. Now, he's going to get us a reputation. This conversation is over. Kirby. Don't worry. Lawson will shave up. Lieutenant, I... Be a lie if I told you that I could stop worrying about him.
Not a chance, huh? I told you so. I never mind what you told me. We're in trouble. Real trouble, I mean. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, we can't go over the lieutenant's head. No, we can't. Look at him. It's like watching a cancer that's going to kill you walking around. What can we do? Well, for openness, we can let our friend know what we think about it. Come on. Let's go. You're getting on our nerves, Lawson. And we don't like it. Look, don't you know that when a bullet enters your vital organs, you die? Now, don't you know that? Yeah. All right, why you run around like you think you can't get killed? That's what's bothering you? Yeah. Yeah, that's it exactly. Why? You act like that, we're all gonna get killed. Isn't that a good enough reason? Well, I think you can think of a better one. Look, look, wait a minute, Lawson. We didn't come here to ask you a question. You're going to listen to us for a change, understand? Kirby's giving you some good advice, Lawson. Nobody's going to get killed because of me. <laughs> you want to put that in writing? Uh, you'll, you'll be all right. Look, Lawson, do I have to tell you again? Do I have to draw a picture for you? When you joined the Army, who came to say goodbye to you? Goodbye? Will you stop playing dumb? No, who came to say goodbye? Father and your mother? Yeah, yeah. My mother, my father, so what? Yeah. What about the rest of you guys? Same thing. I remember my, uh, my mother cried. But did she tell you to come back home? Well, she didn't have to tell him that. She doesn't want him to get killed out there. But they know. Well, who knows? Look, what are you talking about? Mothers. They know whether or not you'd be coming back home. Lawson, would you stop this dumb... Now, act? wait a minute, wait a minute. How? How do they know? Uh, they just know. Well, does your mother know if you're coming back? Oh, sure. Th this whole thing is crazy. Shut up, Kirby. Are you going home, Lawson? No. She told you that? Yeah. And you believed her? Well, why would she lie to me? My father didn't say goodbye either. But he couldn't. He was killed in the First World War. Look, Lawson, a lot of people's father got in that war. Yeah. But this kind of runs in my family. My grandfather was killed in the Spanish-American War. And now it's this war, so it's my turn. My mother knows that, and I know it. Lawson, I don't have a mother, so where does that leave me? I don't know. Brother, I used to think this is a squad. It's more like a ward than an asylum. Hey, maybe your mother don't want you to come home. You out. leave my mother out of this. What's she got to do with it? The Germans don't want me to get back, right? I figure I might make it, though, if you don't get me killed. Don't worry about it. You'll be all right. You, you just don't tell me not to worry. You guys... You start talking about home and your mother's to... What's the use? You, uh... You hear any of that, Sarge? Well, is Lawson section here or am I? Kirby, how can you listen to so much without hearing anything? You buy what he says. It's so hard to buy. He's convinced he's going to be killed. His old man got it. His grandfather got it. Now he's sure that he's next. And his mother. She got hit pretty hard by those two other wars. She's sure he's going to get killed, too. She told him. And he bought it. If 
far as he's concerned, he's living on borrowed time. That's the way he fights. It makes no difference if he gets it today, yesterday, or tomorrow. If he got it yesterday, I wouldn't even know him. If he gets it today or tomorrow, then I'm going to be involved. We're all involved. We ought to do something about it. Like what? I already told the lieutenant. He should be kicked out. Kirby, why don't you get some sleep, huh? Because you're going to have to dream up something better than that. Saunders. Yes, sir. Come on down here. <clears throat> Headquarters reports there's a couple of German recon vehicles down the road. They're about 1,500 yards from our position. They want them knocked out. Now, pick yourself three men. The rest will stay here with me. Lawson, Kirby, and Little John. You sure you want Lawson? I want him. Okay. Good luck. <clears throat> Kirby, Little John, Lawson, on your feet. We got a day with a couple of recon vehicles. No packs. Just grenades. Oh, you see, you're starting already. Every rotten job. And this is just the beginning. Won't be over if we end up like Lawson's own squad. Well, come on, let's go. After you, Superman. Bridge up ahead. Kirby, check it out. We'll give you cover. Yeah, sure.
Show them up there, all right, but they're not recon vehicles. They're on half tracks. Well, that's just great. What do we do, Sarge? Can we make it back across the bridge before they spot us? We're supposed to knock them out. Well, Sarge, not armored half tracks. We may still have a chance. They're pretty well separated. We'll let the first one get through, then we'll hit the second one. Lawson, you make it back down the road near the bridge. When the first car gets toward you, we'll hit the second one. When you hear our grenades, try to pick off the driver. We'll get to you as soon as we knock our car off. All right. And nothing else, Lawson. Don't try to take it yourself. Don't fire till you hear our grenades. The only chance we have is if our timing is right. We work as a team, Lawson. Now you remember that. We need each other. We keep each other alive. Move out. We'll throw it out. When I throw, everybody throws. Let's go. Dead. so we can run off into the woods. I did not turn in the gun. They're not worried about us. They know we won't throw any grenades as long as Lawson's underneath them. 
What do we do? We can't just leave him pinned down under there. Now, whatever we do, we better do it fast. He might get an idea to take that car by himself. That'd be the end of it. Listen! You don't have to die, Lawson! Nobody has to die! We'll get you out of this alive! Just stay still! The rest is up to you! I'm gonna try to work my way up the road. You two try to get behind it. When they see me, maybe they'll start worrying that I'm gonna get close enough to fire through their slits. When they turn their gun, I'm gonna holler to Lawson to make a run for it. Try to get your grenades in, you got it? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Lawson! I'm gonna try to draw their fire! When the gun swings, break for the woods! It's gonna be a nice day.